Welcome back everybody to some more Wargame Airland Battle. My name is Maxwell and we're continuing with the Fortress Oslo campaign. Uh, obviously where we left off last time we made a little bit of a mistake in dropping the guys directly into Oslo rather than into Copenhagen and start from here. But it looks like we are now going to be fighting a war on two fronts. Also because Wargame Airland Battle has now been moved to a Thursday, it's got its own day slot rather than sharing it with the Let's Play series. Hopefully the videos are going to be slightly longer, but that all depends on how much there is to do. So let's get some aerial recon on the go. What are these guys? They've got no initiative and no morale. So one more defeat for those will be enough to destroy them. And who are these guys? Naval Assault Division. They've got... An average morale and a pretty good initiative there. Nowhere near as good as my first infantry brigade though with its huge initiative and huge morale. Uh, let's have a look what kind of forces they have here. Quite a lot of infantry, my word. The Red Army is out in force. Uh, some T-55s. Uh, and some more T-55s, some T-O-55s. So not great on the tank front, although there is a half decent amount of them. Uh, a few planes, so it looks like they are a aerial based army. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to move these guys out of Oslo. Now, you guys did say that the, that the enemy can attack from the red um, and from the north, so I should be careful, but don't be afraid to go on the offensive. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to move the 182nd Airborne into Karlstad. The 3rd Commando Brigade into Oslo, because the Commando Brigade, with the amount of uh, infantry Royal Marines it has, they can just hold a position indefinitely. Uh, and then possibly, once we've uh, concluded that battle there, we'll think about moving the Commando Brigade to take Gol and Bergen. Although, to be honest, it would just be a short jaunt across to Stockholm at that point. Right, and then we'll get these guys to assault from Copenhagen into Malmo. Now they have four initi uh, three initiative and four morale. So let's see if we can do anything about that. What does naval bombardment do? That re removes two morale points which will make it easier to win the battle and the commando raid removes one initiative which will mean we have a considerably larger starting army. Let's have a think. Now I can't afford to do both at the same time. Now to be honest I think Excuse me, I think the morale will be the better alternative because this is going to be a battle where we'll both have a similar size starting army and we just want to set up and try and get these guys into a meat grinder and uh, kill them that way. So we'll drop some naval bombardment on these guys and that should take their morale down to two. Uh, which will make it considerably easier to win the battle. And that looks like everything. So we'll go ahead and send those orders. Ah, and they are attacking. Right, now this... This uh, is going to be a bit of a foregone conclusion, this one, I have a feeling. Considering I start with 1,500 points and I only need 500 points to win. Uh, we'll go ahead and put some... Logistic vehicles down like we forgot last time. We'll put you on... Let's have a look in the forest over here. We'll keep you in this forest here. And then we just want to get to Karlstad as quickly as possible. So what do we have? We have some Sheridans. Let's get some Sheridan tanks on the field. Zoom in a little bit to uh, work this the best we can. Now Sheridans are pretty damn cheap. So we can afford to have a lot of these. Now, in case they push out of Karlstad into Charlie, uh, we're going to put some Sheridans on this road here. Oh, and we are out of Sheridans. Right, okay, so that's fine. Now, what do we have in the vehicle department? Now, they're pretty good. In the support department, they are anti... No, they're not really anti-helicopter. Right, infantry then. Let's get some. Now, is that capturable? I'm not sure. Although, does it not? No, no, it does show you. So, it looks like that isn't... Oh, no, that little building there is capturable. So, 
We'll get some riflemen straight in there to hold it. Uh, don't really care about these forces over here, to be honest. Um, let's just get some more riflemen on the field. Mostly in this area here. It's these guys. Well, these guys are going to boom straight for Karlstad and maybe stop there. These guys are going to deploy in Charlie. Uh, so we'll need some anti-air. Not too much because it's not necessary. Uh, recon, we will have. Do we have an, an air? Do we have a helicopter? No, we don't. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we'll have one of these guys though. And we'll station him around here. We'll also... Mm, no, the front line's going to be down here. So we won't really need... We won't really need to reinforce these houses. Because it's these buildings here and possibly these buildings here that I want to go ahead and reinforce. So, let's get some more riflemen. God, we've got a large contingent of riflemen. Right, vehicles! Uh, we'll have these. Not sure that I need them in the north there, uh, considering that that is where the tanks are. And the tanks are going to make this one pretty one-sided, I feel like. It might be worth investing in some aircraft, considering I have the logistic points for it. So let's get a couple of these Falcons. Uh, now, do I have any other good anti-air? I don't really. Infantry... Let's get these guys up here, some more anti-aircraft, and that will do. That is the battle, so let's launch. Let's get used to unload. What are your orders, sir? You can move faster here. Do this quickly. You ready, can move fast to here. And then you can move fast to there and see who you can spot, if anybody Actually, it might be an idea to station him up there, just in case anybody makes a move for it. Now, they're pushing out a little bit too quickly. Uh, they aren't the armoured guys. Right, you want to move fast to there. You want to move fast to there. Are you talking to me? Open fire. We only need 500 victory points to win, really, so this... This brief exchange here may be enough to clinch victory for us, to be honest. We'll get the Sheridans to move forward. And these guys are taking a little bit of fire here. Get you in there. Nope, you guys are taking hits. But the Sheridans should be able... Oh god, no. Uh, take that out, definitely. You move back. Now they're T-72s and that's not good. Because T-72s will wreck the day of a Sheridan. If I'm not mistaken. Right, so you guys can unload in there. You guys can unload in there. You are stingers. Right, you're already in there, so we'll just keep these guys here. Oh my god, they are pounding us at the moment. These T-72s. My word. Uh, where are the... Yeah, just pound them. We don't need that many more victory points to win. These T-72s are beasts. Why haven't I been sending the planes in? I've got planes. Just because I use planes so infrequently that I just didn't even remember that I had planes. Uh... Let's just light this area up. Oh god, they're taking hits. Are they going to do anything? Are they going to achieve anything? Not really. Oh, they've done a little bit. Did they take one out? Not sure. Now we're going to need some logistics in here to resupply those guys. They're pretty safe there. So let us get in some of these guys. Pretty sure that is yes, all sewn up now. What is it you want this time? Get a 
cargo trucks to move in quickly. You know, these guys are a little bit out of ammunition. Are they totally out of ammunition? Yeah. Well, no, they've still got the main cannon, by the looks of it. So we're still doing okay. Now, they don't really have anything left. So... I only need 60 victory points, so I mean this one was a foregone conclusion, there was no way in a million years I was going to lose this one, and if I did then I really didn't deserve to continue playing this game, uh, if I was going to lose this battle. Considering the amount of forces I started with, and the amount of forces that the enemy started with, and how many victory points we needed to win, there we go, victory! So that was a nice easy one to start us off with. So we'll go ahead and hit the exit button. Battle group destroyed. And the motorised regiment has been destroyed. Total victory. Uh, we get we gain three morale points, but we're maxed out morale. Uh, but we lose an initiative point. So now we're going to go down and fight this in Copenhagen. We start with 1,500 points, they start with 1,250, but we only need 1,000 to win, whereas they need 4,000 because of... Oh, is that a chaffy? I'm pretty sure that that was a chaffy. Uh, got a sultan on the road here. Just so we hold both locations, uh, we'll get you hidden nicely in these trees. So they're going to be coming through Malmo. God, I know this battle. I've done this battle so many times. Uh, we're pretty much going to engage here in Juliet. And we just want to can. I mean, we only need a thousand victory points again. Uh, we've orchestrated this one very, very well. And this is probably my favourite battle group. Uh, with the, uh, the multitude of chieftains. Do I bother with any challenges yet? No, not really. Right, so they are going to boom straight to Juliet. We're going to have a secondary group here, which are just going to be kind of floating, and then we're going to have some infantry, which are going to come in secondary to the tanks, and take up resident in Juliet. We're going to need those, and we are going to need some javelins, probably some more fusiliers. Uh, some anti-air, damn it, I forgot about the anti-air tracked rapiers. Oh no, but that. Are you there? Yep, yeah, we can get a couple of tracked rapiers. We'll have one there, one. We'll keep them in this group because these aren't really going to be engaging. It's just going to be this force. So that looks good. Uh, let us get everybody except the troops selected there. And then the. Oops. And then the troops selected there. So one, move fast to here. Two, move fast. Move fast to Echo. And three, move fast. You are going to be flanking around through Foxtrot in case they try and send some guys from Malmo through Alpha and Bravo. So actually, three, we'll move them fast. Oh god, that's going to be expending a lot of fuel. No, we'll go with the original idea. Uh, we'll try and get some support on the field as quickly, some logistics as quickly as possible. And yep, we do indeed have those already. We'll get these guys ready in reserve because we always, always, always seem to run out of ammunition and fuel on our way to the fight. Now these guys are getting to Echo a lot faster than the guys in the south are. So I think... May have made a little bit of a mistake with this. We'll get some more in. You don't really have anywhere you need to be quickly yet, so we'll just send you at a reasonable pace here. Now these guys are definitely going to get engaged in Echo. So really we may have them go to... here instead and wait. Oh, they're taking hits. Have these guys reverse, keep your front armour on target. 
how far out of range are the rapiers. Ridiculously by the looks of it. Uh, we need some recon in the area. I can't believe I didn't invest in this before. Are you to me? Still no. No. Still nothing. They're going to get hit pretty quickly though. They're going to get hit soon. Fire the missiles. Ah, and then they see our tracked rapiers coming in and they are running. Running the hell away. Which to be honest is probably smart. Alright, I'm just going to amalgamate these into one unit now. Have you guys move in. Let's do this as one big blob of units. Somebody's being attacked somewhere. Oh, yep, yeah, that's fine. Right, you guys just saunter across the field there. <coughs> ah, I've amalgamated too many. Into... Oops, we want you and you. Ah, the rapiers are being attacked. Oh, my word. They have invested a ridiculous amount of shit here. Right, this isn't going well for us. Especially because I don't have any line of sight. Right, let's get some guys. Who are you? You stay in there and unload. You get back up there. You get down to here. My word, this has gone horribly, horribly for us. I don't think. <laughs> right, you unload. There aren't many of you in there, but... Whoever is alive can do something, hopefully. Right, these chieftains need to move back up into the battle. I don't even know if these guys can fire. On. You've got to get moving and start attacking these tanks. Because they are going to make short work of these chieftains right about now. Oh my god, these rapiers need to get into a position where they can fire as well. I only have one trapped rapier left. God damn it. Oh, you're just going to have to push through. Regardless, uh, you have to try and get to... Oh, God, he's dead. God damn it. Well, you can take him out. Hopefully, you've got missiles. Carry on pushing. Where is this rapier? God damn it. All the way over there. Uh, I have to get him here somehow. him. Let's get some chieftains to flank around. By the time they arrive, the battle's probably almost certainly going to be over. Something has been destroyed, but it looks like we've taken out their troops now, which is good. Where is my rapier? There he is. Right, you are going to have to get into the battle now. To resupply these tanks. I know it's dangerous going, but somebody's got to do it. Ah, I lost my gazelle. That's probably what the noise was. Uh, we need that, so let's bring it back. A little bit further away this time. God damn it, I'm just getting mullered by... Uh, by aircraft here. Should have been aware of this. this the, the enemy love their aircraft. And I don't, so I really should have invested in more things like tracked rapiers. And where are my javelineers? Probably dead. Uh, can I get... How many of these can I get? I can get all four. So let's get these guys stationed in this building here. And they may have the range to do something on this flank. You guys can move fast to that point as well for support. Let me know as soon as these guys get on the field. There we go. Move fast to there. Are you 
have so many chieftains. Why isn't this going better? Right, take him out. Because he's panicked. Definitely is not going well. Alright, you stop and open fire. Thank you. Now you stop and open fire on him. Jesus, are you going to hit? Wow. Yep, just fire every single shot you've got and miss every single fucking time. Well done. Where are you going? You stop there. God damn it. This has just been an absolute meat grinder in the middle here. Uh, we've lost a lot of guys. And, oh my word, shit. What are you? You are those guys. Right, let's get some... Fusely is back in here. Try and shore up some of the defences. Well, it looks like we lost the meat grinder, unfortunately. Ah, no point now. Because they are dead. We'll get, these, we'll get these guys to move down here. My word, just... Oh, they're being routed. They have. God damn it! Wow, they are just absolutely kicking our teeth in right about now. We need to move fast. To here, we need to get this second line of defence in place before they arrive. Which isn't going to be long, right? You guys get up here. Oh, they've come back. They're almost dead, though. Oh, I don't know where you're going. Get back here. Just about out of range. God damn it, of course they are. I want to station these chieftains here. I think he's been routed. Take him out quickly because he's going to be a threat. You move fast to there. You move fast to there. And we'll have some more fusiliers. Not yet. We won't because we want units of four. For the most effective defence. Come on. Not be it. Just a little bit more. And you can unload. How's the battle timer going? We're halfway through. Okay, you unload in there. And uh, you won't be moving, so we'll get rid of that. And then you guys are moving to there. <clears throat> right. These guys a little bit further up to support. I can move away. You can come here. Because you're going to be pretty... Well, actually, you can stop there because that's probably close enough to resupply these guys. Oh, God damn it, right, no. What's going to have to happen now is you're going to have to load back up and then you're going to have to get into this building here. And you are going to have to hide in that forest. Are you in yet? <clears throat> Almost. Come on, just a little bit further. How is everything? Oh, they've been routed. Ah, they've been set on fire. I think I'd probably route if I was set on fire as well. The only good enemy is a dead one. We move faster here. Have you loaded up yet? Come on, it's not that difficult. Come on, fire. We don't need many more victory points. If we can take out that tank, that's a good chunk, because I'm pretty sure they're worth quite a lot. And he's investing very heavily in tanks at the moment. 
Right, they're loaded up, so you can move faster here. <clears throat> and I should be able to take out the planes as they pass overhead. That is the idea, anyway. Take out that truck, because victory points are victory points. No, you can fall back, actually. Move fast to there. Resupply at those stalwarts. Might try and push these guys up. It's probably a bit of a risk. But you know what? Fortune favours the bold. I'm going to do it. Try and get these guys into these houses here. Come on, get in, get in, get in. Probably clicking the button multiple times does not help, but makes me feel better. Unload. Take up positions. Excellent. Right, get out of there. Now you guys have got missile launchers, yes. And you can put them to good... Oh, not quite in range. You can put them to good use, I was going to say, but you're not quite in range. <coughs> right, stop. You can unload. And that gives us a second line of anti-air. <coughs> Can't see anything with a gazelle, so we're going to move that up ever so slightly. Wait for the chieftain to repair and resupply. And he's going to move in and try and take out... Oh, there we go. Try and take out those guys. Right, let's continue. Bringing up infantry. It looks like the enemy's kind of had second thoughts now. About coming in as I haven't seen anybody make an attack for a while now. Ah, we lost our command truck up in Aurus, which is a shame. And look at that, we only need 125 victory points and the enemy stopped attacking. Of course they have. Uh, I would do exactly the same thing if my enemy was close to winning. So what I might do is just risk moving these guys to here. Maybe do the same with these. Move those guys into there. Javeliners can move there. Gazelle can go have a spot. You can move up to here. Nope, you can move back. What are you worried about particularly? There is literally nothing going on. Right, the fusiliers have moved up nicely. The javelins can go there. But it looks like you're not very good with your line of sight. Which one of these has got guys in? That one. So we'll get this one to fall back to here. Hopefully this will give me some line of sight. Not too sure. May need a couple more chieftains in here. We'll have to wait because we can't afford them yet. Because I somehow lost Arus without even realising. We really need to pay attention more to what happens on the battlefield. Move quickly, guys. Uh, you can stop in there. You can move to there. And what is that we have spotted? No line of sight. Of course not. You never have a line of sight, do you? Uh, you guys can push up and you guys can push up with these in support in fact you guys can just stay in the trucks for now because you're the second line now what's this we need 125 victory points in a few minutes so we're going to have to go quickly on this one to be honest um, I don't want to waste points on Harriers but I don't know if tanks will make it in time uh, so we'll get a couple of, we'll get three Harriers. And we'll just get... See, he needs so many victory points, I can just now throw units into the meat grinder and it doesn't really matter. So let us get some investigation done. 
Where is my Harrier? Here it is. What is it you want now? Tanks would take too long to bring into the battle, so I'm going to have to do this one. Uh, these tanks are pretty nicely positioned, but new tanks would take way too long to get into position. Are you kidding? A Harrier jump jet couldn't take out a helicopter. Wow. Good job. Keep firing. Can I change targets? God, apparently I can, but... He's just going to be useless. Are you evacuing? Move faster here, right? Come on, guys. You've all got to get in there and do your parts now. Wow, they've got a lot of shit in this area. Where did this all suddenly come from? Tanks come down to here. Troops. Oh, you're out of ammunition already. That was quick. And are you dead? No, you got back. Fair enough. Are you talking to me? Right, they appear to be pushing all the way around the flank here, and I don't know why. Uh, no, what we'll do is we'll bring in some really cheap crap anti-vehicle because we only have oh my god a minute and 30 seconds when did that happen charge except you you've got a, a mission just to get down here move fast rover wombat you need to keep eyes down here Um. Oh god. Come on, I just need to get eyes on something. What are your orders, sir? Damn it, this looks like it's going to be a draw. I wanted to take this this turn. Okay, hey, over. I had more than enough forces to be able to do it, and I just arsed it up. It's going to rain down on them trawlers. Can't believe I managed to fuck it up by just dilly dallying around in the centre there. And then the enemy just for some reason had a million units here. Uh, you can change targets and go for that. I suppose it's probably worth quite a lot. And there's only 10 seconds left. God damn it, I'm pretty annoyed at myself for that because I dilly-dallied so long around the centre there that uh, I just totally fucked that up and it was a draw. Excuse my language, there's a nice picture of a chaffy again by the looks of it. So that was a draw. Uh, hang on, why did they have four morale points? They were, only, they were supposed to be navally bombarded and only have two... Uh, the Turkish Army and the US Navy launched a massive amphibious operation in the Crimea this morning. The objective, objective is to capture somewhere or other and force the Red Army uh, to release their pressure on the European front. According to our Secret Service, pack force in Scandinavia have been allowed to use additional chemical weapons. Be prepared for this possibility. God damn it. Uh, GHQ was divided about the pertinence to send naval reinforcements to Operation Thanksgiving in the Crimea. Your theatre of operation having priority for Navy, NATO's Navy, your opinion shall weigh heavily. Um, no, we'll detach some naval units. Uh, which will be nice. So, yeah, let's have a look at that. That um, They should have lost two morale points and only had two. But for some reason, they've now got three. Well, anyway, that'll just be a bit of a protracted war. We won't make the same mistake again. We'll just go in there hard, and we'll go in there fast, all guns blazing. Now, I don't know why these guys decided to just sit around when I told them to move into Karlstad. Um, yeah, they came in and attacked me, but I won, so surely I should have pushed through to Karlstad. So next turn, we'll go ahead and push through there uh, into Karlstad. 
this battle, I'm very annoyed at that. That should have been a foregone conclusion. We should have won that one very, very easily. But uh, I just dilly-dallied for way too long in the centre there and basically ended up losing that one. Well, it wasn't a loss. It was a draw. But in my eyes, it was a loss. We really should have just had that one all sewn up from the start. So... Well, that's going to be it for this video. I think two battles and a bit of waffling on in between is more than long enough for the uh, for this video. So next next uh, episode, we'll get the 82nd Airborne to move into Karlstad. We'll debate whether to send the Commando Brigade into Gol and then Bergen, or whether to sit them in Oslo as reinforcements. Oslo is important to keep hold of to say the least and we will fight this battle all over again but i think what i'll do is i'll just invest everything in some chief mark 10 some challenger mark ones uh and some rovers and just overrun them as quickly as possible so thanks very much for watching everybody don't forget if you enjoyed this video leave me a like or favorite or both if you enjoyed it that much Stick a comment in the comment section below letting me know how terribly I did in that battle in Copenhagen. I know I'm annoyed with myself. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time.